So guys, you can see the project has been created. Now what we need to do, we need to upload this project on GitHub so that we can watch and control our project. So before this, what I need to do, I need to go on GitHub and show if I do already have this project. So let's see. Uh, I have saved my password, so I'm on my GitHub account. So let's try to look into repositories you can see uh, in my repositories there are two repositories at the moment demo api and ms learn so there is no github repository at this point of time now let's try to push this one onto github and you can also see on this particular solution explorer there are no icons which will show like it is binded with any version control so you can see there are when you have opened the project there is a window get changes you can click on this one get changes window and here it is asking initialize backup and share your repository or clone your repository so for this particular project, we did not create any rep on the GitHub. So what we need to do, we need to push from my local machine to GitHub server. So I will click on git, create git repository. When you will click on that one, it will take your local path and it will ask your credentials. So it has already detected my GitHub account, which is Abdul Rais. And I'm going to log in here on GitHub. One, sometimes you need to enter the credentials. If it is asking credentials, you need to enter those one because I have already logged into GitHub. So it's just trying to make sure I have logged in. So you can see it is saying your authorization was successful. And you can now return to Visual Studio. So let's do the same. You can see now that warning icon has gone because I have successfully logged into GitHub. The next thing it is asking GitHub repository name. I just want to keep the same, but just in case if you want to keep it different, you can type in here. You can optionally type in any description. So GitHub uh, version control demo and this is a very important check private repository if you want other people should access your repository if you are doing something for community purposes then you have to uncheck it so that your repository should be accessible by other people and it will be shared across the community but if you are working for a company and they are uploading their projects on the github then usually they do not want to share with other people unless they want a particular team so you need to click on private so for now i will uh, uncheck this one because uh, this is not a private repository and when you see push your code to github it's forming a url through which you can directly access this project if you need to share someone you can share this particular url what I'm trying to do create and push and as soon as I click on create and push you will see the repo will be created on my github so let's jump on here you can see at the moment there is no repository here but if I refresh this one you can see the new repository has been created and it is saying it is updated just now you can go here and uh, one more thing you can see it is showing it public so that it can be accessible by any person if you go in here you can see all of your project stuff will be there all the files which were locally created you can see all of those one one important thing when you push the code from your local to github it will create a master branch which is the default branch of github so hopefully you will be able to understand how simple it is so this has completed our two actions which is 
create project and push it to GitHub. You can see how simple it is. Now let's try to move on to the third topic of our tutorial today. Uh, how we can push our changes onto the GitHub. One thing before jumping onto that one, you need to understand. You can see there is a blue icon which is locked. That means the code which is uh, uh, which is here at the moment, it's exactly the same uh, which is on the GitHub version control. Before pushing onto the GitHub, there was no icon, and you can also make sure with the pending check in pending changes filter. If I click on here, you can see it's showing nothing. That means there is no change in local. Similarly, if you can see. Uh, at the bottom of your uh, Visual Studio taskbar, this, it is showing your branch. You are on master branch, and the project repository name is GitHub Demo. And you can see it is telling uh, this one is changing. There is no pending changes, and zero. There are no changes to push on the server. Let's try to change something and push that one onto the GitHub. Uh, what should I change? Let's see. I'm just trying to find out the simple things to change. Uh, rather than changing much, I'm just trying to add a comment here on this file. This is a commit change demo to GitHub. So you can see I have just added a line here. That means I'm going to change the code. You can make your changes as much as you want. It has changed the icon of my uh, program file and it is showing pending edit. That means this file needs to be pushed onto the server. And as soon as also when you click on pending changes, you can see program.cs which is the file which I made changes and at the bottom you can also see one change now uh, what we can do you can go on to the get changes it will show you pending changes the star is showing I have not saved let's save this file and try to push try to commit it so I am it's better always it is always better to uh, write the description of your changes so I will write here uh, commit changes demonstration and I will click on commit all because there are a couple of actions so let's do commit all And it has committed your changes. Now let's go to the server. Click on the same program file and see if my changes are showing here. Oh, my changes are not here. So that means something is wrong. Nah. <laughs> uh, so, one thing we need to understand whenever we want to push. Uh, changes to the server we can create local copies of our changes and that was that will be called your local commits unless you are going to and you can see that's the commit and it is created locally now let's go to here we have covered commit changes and we have to push our changes onto the server so that's next section so whatever you are committing that will always be committing locally and to push changes onto the server you can see there are no pending changes but there is one unpush commit so if you click on this icon push it will update your changes push it onto the server let's do it it's saying initiating push yep successfully pushed to origin master quickly Go to the GitHub. I will refresh my code, and you can see wow, you can see your changes here. So, you have learned 
commit and push changes in a separate action. Now, what we can do, you can also try to pull changes. If you need to pull changes from the server, you can do it. So at the moment, I don't have any other person in my project. So that is, you know, very much useful when when there are multiple people in a team are working. And if someone is making changes and you need to grab those changes into your local, so you can pull those one into your local C sharp project. So for now, I'm just trying to edit GitHub file and I'm going to add a comment here. Uh, just writing configuration changes for demonstration purpose. So that's my comment here. I can commit those changes here and writing demonstrating pull demonstrating pull changes and I'm going to commit I will keep everything on the master because I'm not going to demonstrate how to do the branching it has updated it. Now let's go to the Visual Studio. Now you can see in my local it is on the old version. So to pull any changes on the server to your local branch, I have changed on master branch on the GitHub server. Now I need to sync it locally. What I need to do, I will click on this button pull. And as soon as I click on pull, It has updated my local file which is configuration changes and it's saying repository updated with commit number this. So guys we have seen how simple it is to push pull and commit changes. Now let's try to do commit and push together. So previously what we have done so what we need to do so why there are two stages commit two stage commit help you whenever you need to make your changes locally and at the same time you have a fear of losing your changes so you can create a small small stable version commit of your local project and when you think a logical block of your changes has been completed you can push it to the server uh, however if you if you have a you know very small change and you know it's a you know it's completed and you directly want to push in one row uh, commit and push to the server you can do that as well so what I'm going to do uh, to demonstrate that one uh, I'm just adding this uh, you know comment and let's add something new uh, commit and push in one go so I have updated this comment and save this file it starts showing pending changes so I'm seeing updated comment now instead of doing this time commit all what I will do commit all and push so if I click on this one it will create a local commit and at the same time it will push on to the server so if I click on this one it has done both the operations in one go. So let me show you first here. So there is no, if you can see here, there is nothing to push. There is no unpushed commits. It's showing zero. And if I come on here, it is showing my old comment configuration changes. If I refresh this one, it will start showing me the updated one. So in this way you can do uh, local commit and uh, create local commit and at the same time push it onto the server. So guys the last action which is stash changes. What does stash means? Stash means for example if you are doing something 
locally for example what i can do i can add a comment here uh, uh, added starter config right and at the same time what i need to do i need to i don't want to push my changes but uh, i want to pull changes from the server so how can i preserve this one so one thing is uh, uh you can commit it but if you commit it and if there are any conflicts then it will give you a, a little bit of pain so instead of that you know instead of doing that way what people try to do people sometimes try to create a, a stash which is preserve your local changes uh, it will create a sh you know shadow of your changes and keep it locally uh, or and push it to the server and at the same time what it is trying to do it will try to pull down all the changes on the server so what i'm trying to do uh, let's suppose instead of this file let's go into any other file startup.cs so let's go here and start changing this file i am adding a comment here read on the property i have added this comment and added comments i am changing on the master branch comment changes yep that's done now go to the startup you can see there is no comment what i'm trying to do i'm trying to pull those changes huh it has pulled it ah sorry what i need to do i need to preserve my changes before pulling it so let's do it again what i need to do let's create a stash so what i'm trying to do is stash all this one include untry so you can see that is saying wip work in progress on master and it has created a local commit update on startup file so let's do it again uh let's do sorry this is the one let's do some changes again here <laughs> add it update property let's push updated comment and comment changes try to pull this one here Uh, yep updated property and let's try to so whatever your work in progress let's try to up uh, apply this one and at the same time on a stage it has sure you have done changes on this file which is this thing that's the one so the code which you have uh, you know fetch from the version control that is this one but in your local one it is this one so it has applied those changes here locally that's how you can maintain you know stash 
changes and apply on your local program so if I need to commit this one again I can go here and commit I will say updated comment on this file and at this time I'm doing commit all and push now I don't need this stash so I can drop it so you can click on drop all and if you have multiple one you have to click on here and drop this way but uh, if you ha want to drop multiple one you can do drop all so that's how you can preserve your changes uh, by doing a stash so guys you have seen how simple it is to preserve your changes by doing stash changes uh, you have seen create project, push it to GitHub, commit changes, push changes, pull, commit, push in one go, stash changes. So these are the very basic operations in, um, in GitHub and Visual Studio and uh, things so that uh, it will give you the clear indication. And also we will learn how to do the branching. Thank you very much guys. Hopefully you have liked the video. Uh, stay tuned. Goodbye for now. Thanks.